what's up you guys this is jayogo2 back with another video and in this video today if you saw the title and if you saw the thumbnail then you my friend can process information that is great for you but if you know then you know it's about shay gugulix alexander and this guy is one of my favorite players to watch in all of basketball i'll just say that right then right there for what it is shay's a beast and you know he's really taken the lead by storm these last two years basically you know and really paving the way for a bright talented oklahoma city thunder team and to a great future man of course it's him who's leading the pack of these guys but yeah i believe this year that shea you know the season's still going so things can change obviously but i think that shea should be the projected favorite to win mvp and of course in this video today i'm going to discuss why i believe that shea is going to be mvp first off i'm gonna just talk about the narrative and i think you know i think anybody has their own opinion with it when it comes to the narrative but i'm gonna have my own opinion with this narrative as well and i believe that when you look at the oklahoma city thunder they're a young team the youngest team in basketball they have elite coaching they have elite talent and Shea is, as I said earlier, the the guy. He's the main guy on this team that is leading this pack. I believe that that is a great story. You know, one of the smallest markets in the NBA. And you have a guy that doesn't really get talked about around the league. And to be able to now showcase that talent and put Oklahoma City Thunder on the map, I think that is a great story as well for Shea and his possible, you know, chance of winning MVP this season. When you look at the direction the Oklahoma City Thunder is going and especially taking a look at what has happened in their past, you know, before, you know, a few years ago for Cry Got Love, they had Paul George, Russell Westbrook, Carmel Anthony. They were a team that was then trying to compete for an NBA championship. They blew that up. Then they get all these draft picks and then they get Shea and that infamous trade with the Clippers, you know, for Paul George in that way too. I mean, everything has worked out these last few years perfectly for the Oklahoma City Thunder to now put them in a position where one of the, they are one of the best teams in basketball and they're still so young they're the youngest team and you have a guy in Shea who is leading that pack and when you want to look at the statistics alone I mean the guy is averaging over 30 points per game six assists you know over five rebounds as well like he's putting up great numbers not to mention he leads the league and steals so nine times out of ten he's also going to make an all-nba team because he plays elite defense as well and when you look at the advanced analytics, the advanced statistics, his numbers are truly, truly elite. He leads the league in win shares. He leads the league in offensive win shares. He's fourth in defensive win shares. He is also third in player efficiency rating, which is another very important statistic. Looking at many of the statistical categories, Shea is like pretty much an all top 10 and many of them in the rankings and first of course and some of them as well and just watching him play when you see his game he's just very smooth his game is primarily of course focused in the mid-range he's a very very talented basketball player and I think you know for him this is just really the beginning you know he's he's leading this Oklahoma City Thunder team to low-key possibly one day being an NBA dynasty I mean They've drafted really well. Like I said, they're well coached. They have very talented players on their team. This team is just only getting better. And the crazy part is this is what their third year in their development. And they're already one of the top teams in the West. And let's not forget as well that they haven't really made the playoffs yet. So we really, of course, have to see what they can do on the big stage. Really see how far these guys can go but they play just so mature they play mature style of basketball every guy is efficient this is another great thing and that's another thing about Shea and his game as well that he plays very efficiently he's only 25 years old he's not really yet in his prime yet he's only still getting better as a basketball player and I think this is a guy that when it's all said and done he can finish his career as probably one of the best players to play that's really just what I've seen from what I've watched and what I've learned more about him and just understood like this guy is trying to be one of the best players in basketball and 
it's just crazy to see this Oklahoma City Thunder team get so great already. Shea himself in these last few years, you know, the Clippers, looking back at it, you know that they regret getting rid of Shea, but hey, that was just what was best for the time. And Shea's just really come in Oklahoma City Thunder and just really took over. I just think as well, of course, you know, Joel Embiid, he's not anymore in the MVP race. And I believe that if he was healthy, he may or may not have probably won the MVP. And of course, now, Midley, the competition is between Shea and Jokic. And, you know, it'll be nice for Jokic to get his third MVP. You know, he's playing really well this season. He's pretty much almost averaging a triple-double. And his team is, of course, elite in the Western Conference. But I believe if Shea and the Thunder continue at the pace that they are and they finish off the season strong, I think that, I think, why not? Why not give it to Shea? Why not give it to the Oklahoma City Thunder? Just period, because just when you look at the narrative, the story, yeah, for Jokic, he can make history winning three MVPs. Not a lot of players has three MVPs, and he's already going to be all of Famer. Why not give it to the younger guy who is on the rise and his team's on the rise, and they could be a team in a few years you never know that's already in the nba finals that's how good they can be so we shall see what, what happens with time but i hope you guys enjoyed this video today don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball content each and every single week have a great day peace